was great to see our players having success and to see their faces and their emotion and smile and enjoy all the hard work and preparation that I think they do um, as well or if not better than anyone that I've ever coached. These guys, they come to work every day and to see them have success is one of the reasons that you coach. Darnell Dixon and Jason Franchuk at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. BYU beats UCLA 59 to nothing. That's right, 59 to nothing. And Jason, I don't even think the most optimistic BYU fan would think that the score would have turned out like this. You know, I think we kind of thought it could be a sizable win. UCLA, this is only its second game. Kevin Kraft hasn't shown a lot. They've really dumbed down the offense to beat Tennessee. They may not have expected that. This, this is just unbelievable today. This is a BCS statement game. This is a team that as a conference got themselves on both sides of the ball and they're going to be off the of stop this week. Offensively, BYU scores on its first possession. Max Hall ties a BYU record with seven touchdown passes, and the offense did look like it could be stopped. Well, I couldn't do it without number nine and 32 and three and 45 and everybody else who caught touchdowns today. And um, the way my offensive line is blocking for me right now is gives me all the time in the world to make my reads, and I feel very comfortable back there. And um, You know, it's nice to have the recognition, but I got a good, very good football team around me to help me out. Speaking of the defense, started causing some turnovers. 35 points by BYU in the second quarter with some fumble recoveries and some big hits. Uncle Minna Hall said he liked the physicality of the defense. Yeah, they, he said he heard different sounds popping. The dad was popping a little bit different. He's only said that a couple times since he's been here. A couple practices, maybe screaming to see dad. But this is one of those games when you wonder when you play a team like UC, UCLA, like the athleticism, there's no difference. BYU is a very athletic team right now. They're, they're athletic on both sides of the ball. There's the confidence about them. They can get up and down the field. Last week, BYU dropped three spots in the polls. I don't think that's going to happen this week after a 59-0 win over UCLA. Next week, Wyoming here at Little Edwards Stadium. If you want to read more or see more, you can go to...